have got, I don't know what episode this is, but we've got another episode of Ask Kipo, and today we've actually not got as many questions as I thought we originally were going to have, but either way, we're still going to go ahead and answer damn questions though. So, without further ado, let's get into this week's Ask Kipo. If you do want to ask some questions for next week, make sure to leave them down in the comments down below so I can do that easily. And I, sh yeah, I let, 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 let's just get straight into, into the first question. Okay, the next question is from Felian the Dragon, or the first question. And his question is, um, are there any games that you ignored when they were first released, but you finally played them, and you were wondering why you ignored them, and what's your favourite car movie of all time? I may have answered the second one, but regardless, we'll just answer these questions. So, um, a game that I ignored upon launch, um, Red Dead Redemption, that was one, Far Cry 3. Um, I guess, that, those two were the big ones, I guess. I mean... More so Red Dead Redemption, I think that game really surprised me, like I saw it and I thought, nah, this isn't my type of game. Played it, it's basically GTA in, in, in you know, the Cowboy West, so I think those are the big two games. And Far Cry, again, it was one of those games that I never really thought I'd be interested in. Played it and I just loved it, so I guess it has to be between Far Cry, you know, uh, uh, Red Dead Redemption, uh, I think maybe, but that's about, that's about it really. Um, and then... What's my favourite car movie all time? <sighs> Has to be a Fast and Furious film. Probably the first one. I think the first Fast and Furious film, or Tokyo Drift, one of them too. I can't pick between the two. But those two are really good films. Really enjoyed them. So, be one of them too. Which one? I don't know. Okay, the next question is from Bradley Bowers, and his questions are Have you ever had a girlfriend? <laughs> um, well, what, what, would you ever consider making uh, Would you ever consider making a new setup video? And what would you say is the most underrated car of all time? So number one, yes. Um, number two, um, I actually was going to do it on my second channel. I might do it sometime in the future, but it probably won't be a special. I mean, making a setup video is pretty pretty easy. So if I do do it, probably going to go on the second channel. Maybe I'll, maybe upload it on both of them. I don't know. But yeah, I'm probably going to do one soon because I've completely changed my setup since the last time you guys have seen it. Um, and the most underrated car of all time. Ooh. Hard because there's so many cars. <laughs> um, I don't know really. 240Z is pretty nice. Um, the original GTR Skyline. Original, the original Skyline. Pretty nice. I don't know really. It's a bit of a hard question. Um, I think generally. I think I don't know. Like uh, it's something Japanese probably. I think most German cars are considered pretty alright. Uh, may I don't know. May, Maybe the 650S. I think the 650S isn't actually, actually that un, uh, that overrated or underrated. I think the, 6, the 650S is one of those nice cars which no one really thinks about. You know, I'm gonna say 650S for that answer. I think the McLaren 650S is one of those cars which not many people kind of think about when they think of you know convertible supercars or like supercars generally. They think more of the 458, 458s, the Mercury Largos. They don't think about the 650S. So I'm gonna say the 650S for that answer because I think. It, it, it is kind of like, it's one of those unsuspecting ones, you know? So I think, that, I'm going to go for 650S. I think it's really underrated. I think it's a really nice car. It's definitely something I would own too. I think it's pretty it's practical. So, yeah, the 650S is definitely my answer for the third question. Okay, the next question is from Indian Beast, and this question is just so stereotypical. It's simply, favourite curry. Uh, I hate curry. I hate Indian food. I hate it altogether. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm more of a fan of just having a big, nice, fat burger. Um, with some chips and some mustard and maybe a bit of ketchup on the side for the chips. It's really about it. I hate curry, I hate Indian food. Um, I don't like Chinese food particularly. Like I, I think it can be nice if done well, but for the majority I don't really like Chinese food. Um, I'm very much a, 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 a big fat burger, a hot dog, you know, something like that would do me. You know, uh, chicken nuggets from Mackey's or I don't know, a burger, but I think those are my favourite types of foods, but Indian foods generally, I hate them, don't, don't, just don't, don't talk to me about those foods, they are disgusting. Okay, the next question is from Japan Drifter HD, and his question is, KFC or Popeyes, and why did you get that evil word, that evil word, um, so, um, KFC or Popeyes, we don't actually have Popeyes over here, so I have to say KFC by default, and question two is just evil, so I'm not even going to answer it. <laughs> So the next two questions are from Mr. Black Eyes and Shark LK, and they're very similar. That's why I put them together. So Shark LK wants me to ask, uh, well, wants me to answer um, where I think Horizon 3 is going to be placed, and then uh, Mr. Black Eyes wants me wants me to answer um, what I want to see from Horizon 3 in terms of you know its map and whatnot. So we'll answer you know where I think it's going to be placed first. So I want it to be in England. Um, no other racing game I know, I've, I've known is 
has been ever been set in England. Like, there's no there's no good racing games which are set in England. So I would love to see the whole of England be remade. Yeah. Um, but obviously that's not going to happen. Um, but yeah, I think England would be a really good destination for it. I mean, I don't know, it's right hand drive. Oh my god, imagine all the roads being right hand drive. That'd be glorious. Um, so hopefully it'll be England. Who knows? I think Japan would be a pretty cool idea, but England would be also be pretty good. And what do I want to see? I want to see... You know, um, just less repetitive nature from the game. Like you'll find Horizon 2 is very repetitive, Horizon 1 very repetitive. Just you know, mix it up a bit. You know, put some new events in there. You know, I mean, racing a train's cool and all, but I don't want that. I want to, you know, actually have like lap knockouts, pink slips, all that kind of stuff. So I just want to see a, a variation in events and just make it so the career doesn't get boring, basically, and just feel like a drag. So yeah. Okay, the next question is from the King of Rice, and this question is: If you could take the front of one car and the back of of and and, 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 <laughs> and the back of another and combine them, which two cars would you use? And do you mash potatoes or potato the mash? Damn. <laughs> um, so um, to answer the first question, I would probably do a Huracan and the Murcielago. Um, obviously, it would have to like be sized right, but I think that could look freaking nice. And um, and I mashed the potatoes, mate. And the final question is from Speedway Gamer. His question is, do you get pissed off as much as I do when girls are always on their phone? Um, and question two, well, I guess that goes for everyone, actually. And, and, but anyway, question two, if you had the chance to pick between a, re a relationship with a girl or an R32, which one would you choose? So the first one, do I get pissed off when people are on, on their phone in public places? Yes, in, in sure, yes, I get pissed off. When you're trying to talk to someone and then they've got their phone out, that pisses me off. And number two, obviously I'd have a relation with the R32, mate. Um, I think it's pretty obvious. Everyone would do that kind of R32 thing. So yeah, um, definitely have an R32. I think I think my relationship with the R32 would be pretty good to be honest. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like, subscribe. I'm gonna go and rest my voice, my head, and just everything in between because I think I might be streaming tonight. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace.